Hello, Brian Martin with you, and welcome to another episode of Running Technique TV. Today I'm just going to run you through some basics about joint movement so that we can all understand how it is that running technique works. Uh, and if we use some consistent language around that, it makes it much easier to both understand and also to evaluate uh, people's running technique. So I'll just run you through a little bit of that now. Uh, I'll just uh, refer to my trusty little running man here. Um, I'll just talk a little bit about each of his major joint areas involved in running. Um, so I'm going to talk a little bit about the hips, the knee, the ankle and foot, and also the lower back. Um, so the hips in a runner, they move from flexion uh, to extension. So we can see his front leg and thigh here. That's what's called hip flexion. Um, and if we look at his back leg here, that's actually extended so when your physiotherapist is talking about extension and flexion, really um, you can reinterpret that, interpret that as just being um, bent and straight. It's probably the easiest way to remember it. So when, when the joint is flexed, it's definitely got a bend in it. So the hip joint here has a bend and an angle. And when it's straight, um, as we can see on the, the, the following leg here, um, it's actually extended. Um, so same goes for the knee joint. Um, it's in the bent flex position here as well. Um, if I changed the angle of his knee joint a little and just put him out there, I would say that that knee joint then was now extended and that's something that you definitely don't want to do in running. Um, so if I look now to the ankle and foot, um, it's where it gets a little bit more complicated because people talk about dorsiflexion and plantar flexion. Um, so I'll just show you how that looks now. So when a foot um, and ankle is in dorsiflexion, and if we just imagine that is just a lower leg and a foot there, you can see that the toes um, are pointed up and the foot's pointed up. So that's dorsi. And if I actually took this guy and pointed his foot down, that would be plantar. Um, now the other important area in running which is often overlooked is the lower back um, and uh, strangely enough that, that we also talk about flexion and extension with the lower back also. So if I had someone's lower back and I drew myself a little runner and his back was like this, I would say his back is flexed but if he was upright and straightened um, as our little running man here is, that's actually his back is extended. So that just gives you a little bit of an introduction to some basic joint movements that I'm going to be talking a little bit more about in future videos. Thank you for watching.